Okay, so I did a video. My first one was how to close a mailbox. Do we really need this video? And um, I was surprised when I went on YouTube and elsewhere, the people that were having problems with their mailmen closing the, uh, the door in the mailbox. So I directed uh, uh, the current postmaster <clears throat> at the Genoa, Ohio <clears throat> post office last week, Dawn, and I told her about the video that I put up on YouTube because earlier in the year I actually gave the post office a CD uh, and uh, they can't find it. So the new postmaster, Dawn, said she couldn't find it. So, you know, I have no other thing to do but to put it up on YouTube so that it's always there and I can direct them to it. But she had mentioned that, uh, that there was nothing wrong with the box, but that the box does move and it makes it harder. But, uh, yes, the box does move, as you can see here. And the reason for that is, is in the winter when the snowplow goes by, I've never had a problem with the box or, or anything breaking because the snow, when it hits it, it moves. But as you notice, that rail in the back that you see here, okay, it'll hit. So it does stop. It doesn't have just uh, unlimited motion going to the back. It does stop. And so Dawn's claim that uh, about the movement is unfounded and not true. So basically, when you open the mailbox to put the mail in, okay, now watch how simple this is to close. And I did that from the side. Okay, let's look at it. The mailbox isn't slammed. It closed very easy. The reason I'm stating this is because I had a note on the inside here saying do not slam. And the reason for that was a carryover from a, like a $70 mailbox I had that had a magnet on it. And they'd keep slamming it and pushing back the uh, magnet. And it, so I put a note on there, do not slam. And I just carried it over with this one. But that is valid because, again, so you see how simple that is, okay? And you didn't have to slam it. So um, what it boils down to is the workers that are just, I don't know how else to characterize it, but they're lazy and have no common sense. And so, um, you know, I'm doing this video again just to show Dawn that, uh, and I don't even know if she saw the first one. I directed her to it. I don't know if she saw it. I'll give her a call again this week. But uh, by putting them up on YouTube, as I said earlier, I can direct all the postmasters to the video page. I don't have to worry about them using the CD as a coaster. You know, I don't know, maybe they're using that, maybe they use that CD as a coaster to put their fifth of Jack Daniels on while they're sorting the mail. I have no idea, but, and in any event, it gets very frustrating when you come home and the mailbox is like this, or it's just like that. That's how we need it. That's how we want it. So hopefully, uh, this will take care of it again. You know, when you deliver the mail, just use some common sense. Don't be in such a big hurry like I've stated in my first video that I'll have a link to. You know, don't be lazy and use common sense. This thing closes very simply.